My name is Mike Wink, M-I-K-E-W-I-N-K. I'm a battalion chief with Cal Fire. And uh, Mike, what, what's going on here today? So this afternoon, uh, just before lunch, we had a reported escape control burn in the Kelseyville area. Um, it's normal this time of year for people to uh, be doing control burns of brush piles and debris. Um, the brush is dry. It doesn't start growing until the spring, so the conditions are right for that type of, uh, uh, the, that type of stuff to occur. Uh, the control burn escaped the uh, desired area of the property owner and this went into the uh, wild land, into the brush that wasn't part of their control burn. Um, the fire is now a little over 300 acres. Um, we expect uh, it to be fully contained by tonight. Uh, we have, there's a cold front coming in, so we are expecting some rain uh, tonight and or tomorrow that will help extinguish the fire. Uh, in front of the cold front, we did have some winds, so it produced good air quality conditions for the burning, but it also contributed to uh, possibly the fire escaping their control. Uh, there was an earlier report of uh, structures in possible uh, danger. Is, uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, there were some structures threatened. Uh, we did have a CAL FIRE response with crews, dozers, aircraft and engines, as well as uh, local government cooperators uh, put a significant resource order in, got everybody here. We were able to mitigate the uh, structure threat and uh, we believe the structure fire threat at this time has been mitigated. And is it possible that you could kind of uh, turn around and, and point uh, at, at where this fire started up there and uh, the progress of it? So the, the area of origin will be off to my right where the smoke is coming up beyond that ridge and the fire then with the wind coming from um, the south and the east the the fire progressed across the ridge line and then ran with the slope and the in the dry fuels up the hill and then then the wind pushed it to our to our left in towards the community of Kelseyville and uh, what kind of fuels do we have up there it was all uh, brush and grassy oak woodland and uh, right now I see there's another flare up there in that ridge down uh, down below uh, where were the, the structures? Are they down in back of that, that hillside up there? Or are they... the, the structures are probably just out of the view of the camera to the left, up uh, where you see the trees on the horizon. And that area is where the structures were on the other side of the ridge. And the flare-ups that you're seeing is just the wind that's uh, keeping the fire active in the brush. I see. So uh, you, have, you have fire crews up there on the ridge for protecting the structures? Yeah, we have uh, hand crews, dozers, fire engines, and then we also have a helicopter here. And how many uh, uh, people on scene? Uh, approximately 175 people at scene. Very good. Well, uh, Mike, thank you very much for the update. And uh, any uh, last words? Uh, no, no additional comments.
that in the background. Sure. And uh, put a we put a uh, mic on you. We're a little windy here. This thing stopped. So uh, I'm shooting for uh, ABC and uh, Channel Two tonight. Okay. So uh, we'll just get something quick and you know kind of warn people about the next fire season coming up and you know just okay. make it. Uh, so this was uh, started off as a controlled burn? Yes, it started as a controlled burn. You want to get the sound mic in? 1448 division problem. <laughs> I don't look this good on camera as you. <laughs> he, uh, he, I, I, I would explain though that because of this real dry weather, we've been having cold and dry. Here you go. Mm -hmm. This is a result of the fact in the future. And you know, he, he, he mentioned you know, maybe something about the fire season to come. Uh, that we can't. Uh, Go there because you don't know if it's going to rain or not. Did you 